Lung Cancer Radiotherapy Lung cancer is a leading cause of cancer related death in the world. There are two types of lung cancer which are small cell lung cancer and non-small cell lung cancer. Each types are treated differently. For small cell lung cancer, accounts for approximately 15% of the lung cancer. Non-small cell lung cancer accounts for approximately 85% of all lung cancer and is divided into three subtypes, which are adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and large cell carcinoma. First step is simulation process. First of all, we need to identify the organ at risk or OAR of the patient. For lung cancer, the organs at risk are spinal cord, both lungs, heart, and esophagus. All the OAR should be outlined and no more than 10 cm esophagus should be included in panning target body or PTV. The spinal cord position must be identified throughout the PTV. Every effort should be made to exclude normal lung tissue. The next step is CT simulation. We need to undergo CT simulation to obtain CT images of lungs that will be reconstructed and used to design the best and most precise treatment plan. For lung cancer patients, they will provide lung board and head rest to reduce the patient's movement during scanning. Now, let's take a look at the CT simulation procedure for lung cancer. First, the patient is positioned by the physicist. The patient is asked to lie down on the table. Both of the patient's arms are raised above the head and held onto the holder provider. Before scan, physicists will mark the center part of the interested area. For lung cancer case, there are mid sagittal plane and transfer plane marked on the patient. For mid sagittal, there are three markers which are at the sternum, center of the nipple line and at the umbilical. Patient will be tattooed to make the marker permanent and to prevent misposition during treatment. For transverse plane, there are lateral markers that are in line with the nipple line at the lateral sides of the body. The table is raised at certain level and moved into the gantry. When in the gantry, there will be three laser markers on the patient, which are mid sagittal, transverse, and coronal plane. Both laser of mid sagittal and transverse will be in line with the markers marked on the patient. Meanwhile, coronal laser marker is at half of the thickness of the body. The exposure factor is set up in control console by the physicist. The common exposure for lung cancer are 120 kV and 50 mA. And usually, the thickness of the slice of CT images are 3 mm. During the exposure, the patient should be breathing normally. The next step is contouring after an image in 3d of lung field is obtained from ct scan by simulation process it is being sent to the computer software named ocentra virtual simulation software for treatment planning the 3d image is then transformed to 3d conformer radiation therapy image crt using the ocentra software in this form of image, the beam will follow the shape of the tumor. 
3D Conformal Radiation Therapy CRT. 3D Conformal Radiation is a radiation therapy technique that sculpts radiation beams to the shape of a tumor. This is ideal for tumors that have irregular shapes or that lay close to healthy tissues and organs. Using this radiation technology, we are first able to view a tumor in three dimensions with the help of image guidance. Based on these images, we then deliver radiation beams from several directions to the tumor. Matching the radiation dose to the exact dimensions of the tumor allows us to deliver a higher dose while limiting radiation exposure to surrounding healthy tissues. From the image, the organ at risk OAR and region of interest ROI, gross target volume GTV are being identified. Then, start to counter the OAR and GTV in order to know the calculation dose for entrance and exit dose during external radiation beam treatment by LINAC. According to the figure shown, the organ at risk OAR such as right lung is countered by blue line, left lung is countered by dark green line, and spine is countered by light green line. The GTV or target volume is countered by red line. The external patient line as to see the organ as a whole is countered by orange line. The Gross target volume are area where to be treated which is needed to be radiated while the organ at risk such as left lung, right lung and spine are the organs to achieve dose uniformity and to avoid excessive dose. The organ at risk are organ with healthy normal tissue that should be avoided from being radiated as slow as possible. Code by Alara the contouring is crucial for dose calculation in order to future planning the radiation beam profile so that the gross target volume will receive 95% of radiation absorbed dose in total while sparing their surrounding healthy tissue and organ at risk. The last step is a treatment planning design. After the process of contouring, we can determine the gross target volume, GTV. GTV is a gross demonstrate extent and location of tumor. From this picture, GTV can be determined from red isodose line. Treatment planning include isodose distribution and parameter, field shaping, skin dose, field separation, dose specification, and ICRU volume. Gross target volume (GTV), planning target volume (PTV), and central target volume (CTV) a pretty important role in order to achieve the best treatment planning to kill cancer cell at lung. PTV is a volume that includes CTV with internal margin as well as setup margin for patient movement and uncertainties. PTV will describe the percentage of isodose distribution. Different part of body will give the different percentage of isodose to target volume. This is the dose volume histogram. DVH that shown is a Cumulative DVH, which a plot of volume of given structure, receive higher dose as a function of dose. Any point of on the cumulative DVH curve shows volume that receive the indicated dose or higher. From DVH, we can see that GTV receive. 98% of isodose to attack and kill 
cancer cell which is cover 100% volume of isodus. Besides that, isodus for organ at risk also appear which get the minimized dose along with the purpose of planning. Based on the lung case study, this is the radiotherapy parameter that planning by the medical physicists. From the CT image, it performed three beam fields which are right anterior oblique, left anterior oblique and anterior oblique. After put the beam, Prescribed dose is given from the doctor. Then, physicists will decide the dose fraction from the prescribed dose. It is important to ensure that the gross dose is not less than 107 monitor unit. If not, the hotspot cannot be treated successfully. Multi-leaf collimator also use the shape of MLC automatically follow angle of gantry. Then, treatment planning need approval by doctor. After approved, treatment planning will send to patient verification record system which is area that used in HUSM for treatment purpose.